on the last episode of Web Life Atlanta. Cheers. I started at. I see we've been dating for, you know, two and two and two and a half years, a year and a half or so. We've been engaged for over a year. She's looking gorgeous as ever. Like, oh my god, like I can't believe I'm about to make her my wife. What's up, pretty lady? Oh, but I am about to crash this shit because I'm a lady. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Bullshit. Hmm, that's crazy because your face didn't say you was happy for me. You got all the looks, but you don't like looks. People just think that he's messy for some reason, but is he messy? Y'all, I'm really living this web life, okay? I went and decided to reach out to um, this amazing doctor who I've heard some great things about. He personally invited me to his headquarters, which sits in the heart of Black Atlanta. Yes. What's up, bro? Dr. Dre. Hey, how are you? And through his brand, Momentum, which is a lubricant and condom company that he started that is FDA approved, that is black owned, that is just like amazing. Thank you for having me. This is gorgeous. It's first dope. of all, it's dope. Yeah, it's so nice. Dude. Come on in, man. Oh my god, thanks for having me. And I walk in, and I'm like, Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> so, you know, so this is our lube. So we have water base yeah. and silicone. You, you have some products, right? I. Yes. And you tried them? <laughs> Most definitely. What did you try? I tried everything. So I wanted to be a part of that, you know, with my following that I have on Instagram, on Twitter, and with me tapping into the OnlyFans situation, I thought that this would be an amazing avenue. I tried, even though there's like a his and hers thing, like you, I, tr I tried it all. What do you like? Um, I like the, the, the silicone base. Why? Men's, because it's slippery. It's really good. It's like, it's, it's a good slip there. It's good, you did good there. <laughs> so this is kind of where I hang out. This is where I pack boxes overnight. Oh, so you up in here doing all the good, I know, the good Lord's stuff. good work. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about contracts, because we need to go over that and make yes. sure we're all squared away. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Go ahead. I'm just ready to go ahead and just sign my name on the dotted line. Let's get this contract going. Let's start talking about the money, okay? This is a new brand, so I'm the first physician to have a lube in the market. FDA approved. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. FDA approved lubrication yeah. and condoms. So we've been around since February, February the 14th. Okay. So we're super, 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 super new. Super excited, and then I checked all your references, and everyone mm. seemed to love you. <laughs> what we're looking for is a brand ambassador. So it's okay. tough competition, but we looked at everyone's photos and their personalities online. We decided to pick mm. pick you. So let me tell you what you have to do. Okay. So when you talk about a brand ambassador, you're really like the face of the brand. Yeah. Okay, so this is all you have to do. So you have to be loyal to our brand, meaning while you're under contract, mm -hmm. you can only work with us. So right. with, so no other condoms, no other lubricants, no other light like, handcuffs, no other blindfolds, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So I know you have like some harness stuff that you do, which is fine. Okay. Did you, so you studied the brand a lot. I know you did. So let me do a, let's do a test. Let's oh say God. someone says. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. So someone says, okay. so, oh my God, you work with Dr. Dre. Yeah. You work with Momentum. He's super great. I've seen him a lot. Oh, so, that's um, what would I use to masturbate? Say some male. The one that's best for skin on skin, giving you, you know, I'm going to be jacking off. It's going to be the silicone base. Okay, perfect. I mm -hmm. like that. What about, let's say, hey, I'm in the jacuzzi with my mm -hmm. boo. What lube would you recommend? Well, um, you definitely want to use water base. So I'll change that a little bit. Okay. If you say silicone for mm. water, it lasts longer. Really? Yeah, so so silicone and water play. So let's say it's like shower, you're in a jacuzzi, uh -huh. you're in a swimming pool, and you're learning, you know, you're mm. learning the sex industry. Yeah. So it actually will last longer for you if you use silicone. And remember, all of our lubes are latex friendly. Mm -hmm. 
non-GMO. Yes. Gluten-free. Yes. Sugar-free. Okay. Vegan. What makes them vegan, if you don't mind me asking? Vegan means no eggs. Okay. No eggs, no cheese, no dairy. Oh, cool. Of course. That's the great. vegan girls love me. I do have one question. Mm -hmm. I do love the space. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I shot any content or anything? You can do whatever you want. So, you know, oh, I okay. own the building here, so you can yeah. go on the first floor or second floor. The name is on a dotted line. The photo is set. Now, I just have to find the perfect photographer. Game, touch, touch, touch. Mm -hmm. Okay, go back to the side. So why not connect Dr. Dre with visuals by Dre? Let's just go ahead and just make that whole connection. Better? It's better. It's definitely more photo shoot. I might need to just change the arm um, to the umbrella, but okay. How you feel? Oh, yeah, it's cool. I don't love this scene. That's what it is. I think it's the the, the light where we are. Alright. I just love the results. You know what? Let me stop talking. Go ahead and watch. Look for yourself. Get into it. As promised, I decided to reach out to Carl. So Lacey and Freshy, we are an entire brand. <laughs> We're an entire brand. We do everything together. I feel like we're having this meeting because we have so many projects that we need to talk about. Getting the ball rolling just makes me so excited. Air moving? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, but we need to talk about this um this upcoming chronicle. Yes. Can you pull up your calendar? So every quarter, me and Lacey sit down and we talk about business-wise what we're gonna do for that following quarter and the quarter after that to try to plan out as much as we can. If you go look at the script tonight, then I could proof it, or you proof it, and then I could format it tomorrow and we could send it out by... Oh shoot, sure, I'm tripping. I don't know, I'm looking at November. It's still on my calendar. You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Keeping it on my nerves. I feel like I know the clothing sponsors more than you, but I don't remember how many. We have a lot. <laughs> I don't remember. But they are, in for the most part, in the email and the clothes are still here. So we just gotta look at them. I just feel like the clothes is just take away from everybody's individual. I agree. <laughs> but I don't really, I really prefer not to, but. You don't have a choice. Here's the problem that comes with getting clothing sponsors for a movie. If you do not use those clothing sponsors, you then have to pay them for the clothes that they sent you for free. Yeah. So did you want to pay the people? No, but I feel like some of them could all, we could just ask. Cause some people send us, clothes for the movie and some people send us clothes for us and like as a couple. I'm not talking so, about any of the couple stuff. Let's focus on what we're focusing yeah, on. Yeah, but some of them you think are for the movie when no, they sit for us. No, I'm not thinking. I'm not talking about people who also sent clothes for us. I'm talking about specifically. Specifically, we need to reach out to specifically the clothing sponsors for this specific movie, bro. Like, I don't understand why you can't ever focus on what I'm focusing on. It's too easy to know who sends us clothes personally and who sent us clothes for the movie everything is in our email i don't understand like why that would be difficult for you to know okay i'm sorry <laughs> no i'm pissed right now sorry i don't understand why you gotta start yelling for no reason like i know that it's different i'm not talking about the people who sent us clothes for us i'm not nowhere that i mentioned that only sponsors period some of the ones in the boxes in the room that i was talking about aren't just for the movie, they were for us. The whole miscommunication about where clothes were, who sent what, and what it was actually for. We do need to make sure that we are communicating with them because what I don't want is for it to be unprofessional that somebody sent us clothes and it took a year for them to see it. I don't want that. I, don't I mean, know. I don't know why it's a big deal. The clothes are just still here. Because I, I don't believe you, so it's a big deal. I think you're lying. Lying about what? You call me a liar, I get a lot more defensive because I'm like, you're seeing it from your perspective, but you're not seeing it from mine, or at least trying to understand it. I think you're lying about having so many clothes from people that's in that. I didn't say so many. I never even said so many. But other than our little bit of, you know, miscommunication, which you're going to get when you are working with anybody else. We're just shooting this musical, so we got to record the songs first. I absolutely did not choose these songs. When you do it like me, you tr we're trading. Okay. This is how it feels when you do it like me. We're trading places. So as we're in the studio, Henderson has called in Songbird. Like Songbird has worked with just about everybody in Atlanta. She's Atlanta native. 
She's a singer, songwriter, uh, lyricist, poet, vocal coach. So she's working with us to work through the songs. And it's just like the first two lines. I just cannot. Perfect. Don't say sorry. Let's make sure that sorry didn't end up in the track. Not bad. Did he fold out places long enough? Yes. Places, sorry. Slide into each other enough for us to cut off the sorry. Fantastic. It was taking me out. I've heard this song a million and twenty-five times, and still trying to say the words on my own, I just could not get it. Fred it. No, we. Not we. We. Fred it. Okay. All right, my bad. Yeah, I know, I'm looking at... Am I happy with it? If they're pleased with it, and they, they want to move forward with it, I mean, it's okay. I have to see it in this element, but... I personally just don't feel like the song fits me, my voice, my style, and what I do. Ow! All right. Ow! I just started a new show called Nookie After Dark. Hey guys, I'm Mercy, and I'm here with... Carl Levonville, and we about to have an amazing show for y'all today. This is Nookie After Dark, and girl, what are we talking about today? What are we talking about? What you ambushing me with today? Oh, you're going to be in the hot seat later. I don't like that. Are you that. ready for it? I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I want everybody to know just how nasty you really are. I feel ambushed, y'all. Now, if anybody knows me, y'all already know that I love to talk about sex. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Nookie After yeah, Dark. Yeah. Of course, if you listen to, you know, Bunny Pussy, you know. Bitch, who is that? Who you is know, it? I love the chat line now. Yo, this is James. This is James Dean. James. What's up, J What's up, James? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling from Georgia. Mm. Oh, okay, Georgia. So what you got to say? Yeah, follow me and call me the juice man. That's call underscore the underscore juice. Oh, I love underscore juice. I love juice. Yeah, call me the juice. Yeah, I, look, I will call you what you need. What, what, what question you got tonight? Yeah. So on this show, I'm dealing with my homegirl, Mercy. We get to it. We talk about everything from, you know, sex with men, females, oral sex. Man, so, so the other day, so hold up, like, I'm, I'm with this girl, I'm chilling with her or whatever, and she, she basically told me I don't know how to eat ass, bro. And, and I'm not the type to actually like, eat ass, bro. I don't do that, like... And we had a particular caller decided and said he. Man, it was like my first time we were trying this shit, and she gonna come to me and say, like, I don't know how to eat ass. So can y'all tell me how to eat ass? I can definitely tell you how to eat ass. A backwards thing. I got you. He said he wanted to know how to eat ass. Well, of course, I have all experience in that. So I said, you know what? I got this one. Okay, let me tell you about something because I've dealt. I like listen to listen to me. I've dealt with men. I've dealt with women. They down for everything. So I'm telling you right now, when you eat that ass, bitch, you ain't eat the ass like you eating a motherfucking pie. And hey, whether you're male or female, I think we all can go ahead and say, hey, I know what I'm talking about. Bitch, you lick that bitch. You tongue that bitch. You get some of that clit, bitch, you get the gooch, you get that clit, you get the you get the inside of the vagina, you get everything. Women like to be pleased. And when you're dealing with a woman, you got to make sure that when, it, when you're dealing with women, women like to feel like they are that bitch. Are oh, you trying to eat that ass tonight? How far are you away from Atlanta? Wait, girl! <laughs> How far are you away from This is why I work with her, child. Because she always fucking are good niggas. Listen. It's on Kevon Burns online. Y'all need to go check that out. It's wonderful. This is the part of this. Chicken shit. It's always good to have great friends in great places because even though me and one of my really great friends, Gary Lavard, is not, you know, in the same city, in the same place, we definitely are amazing friends. Um, we've been friends since we started working with each other on About Him. And he's in town, and it's actually a great time for him to be in town because I need someone outside of this group to talk to about this whole situation. Yeah. Back in the A. Back in the A, you yeah. Used to, you used to run things here. You said <laughs> used to because you done went and left and went to the West Coast. Chill. Well, look, you got the torch now. Yeah, so I hope you're you running in it properly. Let me pull you a little bit more, though. 
So when I got the opportunity to get out of Atlanta, I got out of Atlanta. You sure the fuck did. And I they tell did. me nothing. I just looked up <laughs> and you was in California. I'm just like, what the fuck what happened? What that happened? Cheers. <laughs> to you getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, and I love it. Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and just tell you what the hell been going on. But yeah. It just feels so good to be able to catch up with someone who knows me more than anybody does in this whole circle. I got invited to this brunch. Okay. We get to the brunch and it's everything other than that. Okay. And I don't know if you know Carl, Carl Levanzel. Maybe. Yeah, neither do I. Okay. Um, so basically, he randomly asks me in the middle of this brunch, okay, so what's going on with your OnlyFans situation? Like, with, I mean, are you not being paid from Triangle? Like, That's none of his business, but go on, go on. Well, the only thing that really had me perplexed was the fact that somebody was asking me about my finances as their neck was greening from the jewelry that they were wearing. Not to cut you off, but yeah. what made you feel like you had to respond to him? I just felt like I needed to, it was in a public forum, and I just feel propelled to defend myself in a public forum. We're not about to sit here and have a conversation like this in front of so many people because to my knowledge, he was also showing videos of my, you know, content to people. So he's infatuated with you. It alarmed me that Mikey was the one who invited Carl. I just think that it's really, really, really odd that this invitation came from Mikey. Okay. Purposefully. But, so question, after you had that conversation with Carl, Yeah. Um, and that was it, like at the, the rest of the brunch, y'all were fine? I, the, well, he got put out of the brunch. The brunch ended abruptly. Like it was, it just, it was more mess and more stress than anybody could fucking handle at that point. He's happy about getting put out, whatever. Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Who are these people? Mean like? bitches. <laughs> Granted, there are people out there who started an OnlyFans account. You know what I'm saying? Just to kind of stack up, just to kind of have another source of income. And there's a lot of people out here who don't know what else to do. For me, I can say what you have done and what I've seen has been very tasteful. You see my content? I see, yeah, I seen it. I seen that ass, <laughs> I seen that ass. <laughs> you looking good. It's, it's, it's looking pretty, good. No, <laughs> Kind of just let all my walls and my barriers just kind of come down and I can just really talk to him and express to him how I feel, you know, with us drinking wine, you know, smoking like we usually, we, you know, we do every time, all the time. It's just, it's just great to have somebody who has a different mindset come in and try to change mine, you know. We get to um, my slumber party, everything is fine. And, you know, I have to introduce you to Sean. Okay. This, this, Sean, this is this was like his coming out situation. Like I wanted to do a party to introduce some of the closest people to me, okay. to my boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. So, Sean is there. You keep doing your thing, keep putting out tasteful content, and then watch your sales go up. You know what I mean? The fuck I had to hear the song. Fuck I need to watch the shells go up. That on that. So how did the night end? Like, what did Bay say about him approaching? You know about well, Mikey. We got my ass to fucking gather. Yeah. Okay. You good? So, so, what is this that I'm hearing about? You and Mikey dating. Why didn't I hear about it? Yeah, it's good. It's, it's all good. Dating. Why didn't I find out about it? I yanked my monkey ass up. Threw me into the bed. You know when somebody bring you into the bathroom. That's a problem. Okay. 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 Let me you okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? This can't wait till we get home. <laughs> he did not wait until we got home. Like it's, He was just like, it, yeah, let me, let me talk to you right quick. And So you let him know the deal. I let him know the deal, but I giggled in the middle of it because I felt like it was some bullshit. Like when he said that I was like exactly how we reacted. Yeah, because like, when I'm like, you and Mikey, right. I'm like, so I'm like, like okay, okay. wait a minute. Dang. Do you think Mikey want to be with you? Like for real, for real? Do you think that's why he's being malicious? And I'm being serious. Like, because you know, like sometimes people would do things like that to, to, to seg way in. That's very kindergarten esque. But, like, but it's. Oh, but it's Mikey. 
you need to have a heart to heart with Mikey because at the end of the day, that's your friend. Child, if I did that to Mikey, if, if I invited somebody that I knew Mikey did not like to a situation he was over, child, I'd be packing my bags and moving out. Y'all know we roommates, right? <laughs> my shit would be on the curb. <laughs> you had that conversation with Mikey, see where his head is, and be fucking honest. Tell him how you feel and see what he says. And then from the from his answers, that lets you know. Do I think that Mikey is deliberately stirring the pot between me and Carl? Do not let these bitches throw you off your game. You in a relationship now. You know what I'm saying? You happy. Yeah. And what it is, these niggas don't want to see you happy at all. I'm a great ass person, you know? And it took for Gary to come back in this, you know, situation in this fold to explain that to me. I appreciate that for him. I appreciate it. And I decided to, you know, let's just go ahead and just sweep this shit. Let's just clean it on up. Just try to start over and let's reintroduce ourselves to each other. So I'm meeting up with Brandon today because like I said, we need to have a conversation about everything that transpired. I decided to reach out to him over drinks because I know he, you know, he's a lush. So, um, first and foremost, mm. the last time we were together, mm -hmm. you bombarded my slumber party after you were invited by someone else. Yeah, that was true. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going down the, um, the checklist, so, I'm, cause I'm trying to understand what's going on. You decided to share information with my boyfriend that was extremely not factual. Oh. So I'm trying to understand, um, where did you get that information from and what the fuck is wrong with you? Start from the beginning. Okay. Because you know, I was a little toe up that night. So, yeah, right. I you shared were. some information with your man. What did I say to you? You told him. Thank you so much. Thank you. You told him that me and Michael had a sexual relationship at some point in time. Is that what I said? Actually, I got all my information. I'm going to go ahead and drop this bomb on you right now. From Mikey. I got this information from Mikey after I had met him maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, he was like, hi, my name is Mikey. I used to date Brandon. So, there's okay. a lot to it. And I thought it was public information since everybody was talking about it. So, that came from Mikey. Here's the thing. So, let me get this straight. The rumors that are festering up, that, 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 you know, that are in this pot that's being stirred constantly, started from Mikey? The way that you pitched it to my boyfriend was extremely disrespectful. And what I want you to understand is, I have yet to tap into whatever situation you have going on in your dating life. In order for us to be able to sit amongst each other, mm -hmm. I need two things. Okay. An acknowledgement of the fact that you were messy as fuck for bringing that information to my boyfriend, and an apology. I am very, 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 very adamant about beef when it comes to not liking someone. You would know that I don't like you. I'm a Scorpio. You would know if I like you. You would know if I don't like you. I'm sitting here smiling because I'm acting like I have sense. Mm -hmm. But in the reality of this whole situation, okay, mm -hmm. I would hate to have to garnish you with this margarita. I'm trying to have a great conversation with this bitch and she's still talk, throwing all these idle threats. Girl, are we gonna be friends or not? Because if you're that upset, then we don't need to be talking at all. I can stop all of them. Oh! I am trying to be a better person. <laughs> I don't know what it is with Mikey and Brandon thing that they have this complex, they think they're a lot more influential than they are. So oh. trying me is the worst thing that you could possibly do. Well, um, yeah, you know, I understand everything that you're saying, but, you know, here's a few different things that I have to say pertaining to that. First of all, I do have a lot of talents. I do a lot of things. You know, nobody can shut that down. Let's start there. <laughs> we're we're going to we're gonna, we're, we're gonna stop a nice right assumption. there. Right there. I seem there seems to be something that's very, um, it's brought up a lot with um, your circle. Y'all think that y'all can just shut stuff down. And say, okay, I will say this. I probably shouldn't have came to your boyfriend again. I was drunk. 
<laughs> Probably. I, I apologize. Probably. The real issue here is you need to get that, you need to really address that with Mikey. When it comes to that, I didn't even know Mikey from a can of paint before he started telling me all these things. Maybe he thought I was interested in Brandon. And before before I decided to go date her, he like, look, let me tell you right now. Like he wanted to set those barriers right there and say, let me tell you, this is something I'm not, don't you go after mine. You know, he was pissing on the tree. He Cause Mikey's the one, if I'm sure if he's told me that and he only known me for an hour, this was, ooh, two and a half years ago. So I had only known Mikey for an hour then. So okay. if he told me that, ain't no telling who else to get it from. Like I said, it's a rumor mill about y'all too. And I'm not even gonna hold you up. I've heard you've been attached to some people. I've never heard you've been attached to Mikey. Well, I tell you what, I'm glad we had this conversation. I am too. I but I think the conversation overall went well and we ended on a great note. I'm very, very glad we did. I'm gonna tell you like I told you at my summer party. Mm -hmm. I seen you. This new fire that we have decided to ignite burns with love and light. Keep it cute and okay. I will keep it pretty. Okay. And we will be A-OK -okay and all right. And I wanna go ahead and just let this shit go. Like, let's go. So hopefully, me and Brandon can move past this and we can, you know, grow up a little bit and, you know, we can harmonize. On the next episode of Web Life. Mikey! Mikey! They said they blame me on the edible. So, you know, she's an actor. So yeah, I feel like I needed like an extra day of planning. Let me. Oh, uh, Mikey passed out like right in the middle of my shit. At least you got to perform. Brandon, you know, I love Brandon, but me and Brandon be having this. We got this real love hate type deal going on. Yeah, I heard about what? Mikey and Brandon fucking. I like, heard. Girl, no. Look at it. People don't understand the thin line between thick and fat. There's a thin line. And as always, thank you for your outpour of love and support. You're watching Red Life.